Don't be shy, just ask. Hello everybody, today I am going to talk about Zero, my Scarlet McCall that, as you can see, has a little problem. This is my Moroccan cockatiel, it's very jealous. So Zero, he didn't always look like this. He is 22 years old, or about to be 22 years old and started plugging his feathers on his belly. <laughs> this is my African Grey laughing. Um, and he has been plugging his feathers on his chest. So what could that be? What could be the reason for him plugging his chest? Hello. <laughs> Hello. As you can see, he doesn't just pull out his uh, feathers, but he also mutilates the rest of his feathers he bites off the tips of them and on his wings too. So there could be many reasons for this. Could be nutritional, which we know, but it's not fat, not the case here for me because nothing has changed. The food's been the same. It could be external stress, which in my case, this couldn't be because everything has been the same. Um, we've been staying here. We've been in my new house for about a year and a half now. Um, so nothing new here and has changed. The only thing that I can think of is that he is hormonal. So he's hormonal. I went to the vet and they did blood work. Everything is fine. They told me to give him lots of showers um, and to just give him toys to play with. That's um, one thing you can do when your bird starts doing this. You just kind of watch, make sure they don't over preen themselves. Uh, he has kind of left himself alone now. Um, I take him out. This is uh, a little you can see it from here. I have that in my living room where they can climb around and be engaged and not be in the cage all the time. Um, so make sure you take them out and I put lots of new toys in the cage. And um, like I said, just some distractions, maybe some nice good fruit and vegetables will help too. But mostly this is a hormonal thing for him. He's just gotta get over it. Um, if I take a close up, I don't wanna get too close cause he's gonna bite my phone. That's so I'm gonna zoom. You can see that he has a couple pin feathers. Right there. For example, for example you see him one and two and three which is, gives me hope, great hope, that he's leaving them alone now and the new feathers are gonna come out and he's gonna be beautiful again. So it was just a phase, because this happened within a week, about a week he did this. And since then, he kinda has left it alone. Um, and all those little tin, pin feathers give me hope. Right there. There. <laughs> As you can see, Milo looks beautiful. And he, you know, he shares a cage with Ciro, but already he's been sharing a cage with him forever. The, those, those two are bonded. So that's not, also not the case why he's, why Ciro is pulling his feathers out. Ciro, are you dancing? Yes, are you dancing? And you, you're swinging. As you can see, Milo looks beautiful. He eats the same food. He has the same exercise, the same outside time, everything exactly the same as Ciro. So we know this is hormonal. Uh, Milo is eight years old and Ciro is about to be 22. Um, but if you look at his feather, his, ah, look at you, beautiful. Yeah, um, can't see it. 
on his tail. He has a new feather, a new pin feather, a really long one, which is also a good sign that he's leaving that alone. Hmm? Well, I'll keep you guys updated to see how he's doing. He's gonna get a shower now, and um, hopefully within a couple weeks, uh, his feathers will have grown back. Wish me luck. <laughs> Are you gonna say goodbye, Ciro? Yeah? We're gonna say goodbye? Say bye bye, Ciro. <coughs> okay, you guys, I'll keep you updated uh -huh. on his progress to see hopefully that everything flow, um, <coughs> grows back in. And um, thank you for watching this video and subscribe, please, if you like my information. If you have questions, okay. please please uh, send me a little message. I'll try to answer it as quick as I can. And thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye, Zero.